Okay, in this video we're going to get a little bit more interesting uh, in what we can do with the room. Uh, we're going to have him restrain, we're, we're going to restrain Sammy to certain areas of the room so that he can't walk all over the walls like he was doing in the last video. And also I'm going to show a little bit about what's called um, uh, walk behinds. And then we're going to get into one, one thing where he can look, he can look at the books on the, on the shelf and he can you know, comment on them. Um, but I'll explain all that as we go. The first thing that we want to do is constrain Sammy Sammy to walking just to certain areas of the room. For example, we don't want him to walk on the walls. We don't want him to be able to walk on this table. <laughs> right now, we don't want him to be able to walk up the stairs um, just because there's really nothing up there. And so we'll just kind of constrain him to um, the landing just before the stairs. We, we'll, he can walk in the closet since there's no door there. So we'll be able to let him walk in the closet a little bit. And then anywhere on this main floor is okay. Um, before I do that, though, I'm going to change one thing on the character. Um, in fact, I already changed it before the video. This was set to three earlier. And this is this is the movement speed of the character. I'm setting that to six, um, just doubling the speed that he walks at because he was walking far too slow. So uh, I just doubled doubled that so that he walks a lot faster now. Um, so really, what we want to do is we want we want to show the walkable areas. Now the walkable areas are just regions on on the screen that the character is able to walk on. Um, if I this little drop down here it says nothing it says show this rooms nothing so it's not showing anything but if I click on the drop down we can see lots of different things we can see the edges the objects the hot spots the walkable areas the walk behinds and the regions I'm gonna select walkable areas and then it colors the whole screen blue <laughs> basically that means everything that's blue is somewhere that Sammy can walk so right now Sammy can walk anywhere on the screen well we obviously want to change that um, and you can do that from right in the editor now there's two ways you can do this. You can either go into another program, um, a paint program. Um, one of the things you could do is go into a paint program, load up your, let me change this back to none, load up your background image here, and then cr ha create a layer on top of that on your paint program, and then start drawing on the layer. So you could start drawing your walkable areas and then just fill them in with a certain color. Um, that's probably the best way to do it, um, as opposed to, to, to doing it directly from, from AGS editor but I'm gonna go ahead and do it from AGS editor oh and by the way a great program to use for for that kind of thing is paint.net uh, it's a freeware program um, it's for Windows and it's, it works really really well it allows you to do layering and uh, uh, drawing things like that and it's really 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 good for this kind of thing everything that was done in Sammy's quest was done with just regular Microsoft paint which is the paint program that comes with Windows but paint.net is a great a great alternative to that um, and it's free which is th just the right price so um, going back to walkable areas, what we really want to do is clear away everywhere that we don't want Sammy to walk. So basically his upper half of the screen, we don't want Sammy to be able to walk. Um, AGS gives you some basic primitive um, uh, paint tools here, which is what I'll use. Uh, I'm going to click on the line tool, and I'm, I'm going to right drag because right drag will erase the color. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to right drag things away. So... I don't want him to be able to walk sort of around this table, so I'm just going to draw a line and have my line define where Sammy can and cannot walk. So you'll see what I'm talking about when I get done. So I'm just going to kind of draw a line here. He can walk into the closet, so I'll go into there. Again, this will all become clear in just a second once I get through with this, what I'm doing. Okay, and now you have the fill tool. Now I'm going to right fill all the area above that. So that just cleared out everything up to where I, up and bound, bounding the area that I drew around. So now everything in blue is the area that Sammy can walk. So he can walk all over here. He can't walk into the table. Can't walk up the stairs, and he can walk into the closet a little bit. So let's see how that works. I'm going to click Run. He says Hello World, like we told him to, and now Sammy can walk. If I click anywhere in the room he can walk anywhere in the room but he can't walk over here he can't walk on the table notice I'm clicking on the wall he's not he's not going up into the wall anymore he can't go up the stairs because we bound him so that he couldn't go up there um, he can go into the to the closet but watch what happens when he goes into the closet here okay he goes into the closet but it's not exactly what we wanted he's he's in the closet but he's on the wall so actually what we want to do is we, we really want this wall here to be drawn on top of Sammy so that if I'm you know halfway in and halfway out of the closet like this, I really want the back of his head here that would be covered by the wall. I really want that to be covered by the wall. Well, how do we do that? Well, that's what's called a walk behind area. Um, 
very similar to a walkable area but this is a walk behind area so if I click on walk behinds here by default there are none but I really want this area right here this wall to be a walk behind in other words let the character be able to walk behind that er that area you're gonna do it this you're gonna define it the same way I'm gonna zoom out zoom up a little bit here so that I can get a little bit finer detail and I'm gonna draw a little box around this wall and then I'm just gonna fill it in so that fills in this area so in other words Sammy can walk behind this rectangle there's really no reason to walk behind anything else I mean I could say that he could walk behind this table too but he can't get to there in the first place so there's really no reason to walk behind it so really this is the area that we want him to walk behind um, now what we have to do is we have to be able to define the baseline of this walk behind and what the baseline is is that's basically an area that if the character is above the baseline he will be he will be drawn behind the walk behind area by default the the baseline is this dotted blue line up here at the top so I'm just gonna drag that down typically you wanna drag that down to the base of your walk behind region so this is my walk behind region and this is my walk behind line and, and again what this is saying is when Sammy is above this line he, this wall will be drawn on top of Sammy but if Sammy is below this line let's say that Sammy is right here for example his feet are here below the line well then we don't want we don't want the wall to be drawn on top of Sammy we, we want this we want Sammy to be drawn on top of the wall so and that will happen as long as you have your baseline set correctly So in other words again just just to recap above this line if Sammy is above this line over here he will be, the wall will be drawn on top of Sammy if Sammy is below the line then the then Sammy will be drawn on top of the wall so let's just run that and see how that works okay so we have Sammy he says hello world and then let's walk over here let's make sure that this works if he's below the line again below the he's below the line right now he, Sammy is drawn on top of the wall but if I go into the closet now all of a sudden the wall is drawn on top of Sammy so that's exactly the effect that we want now it looks like Sammy's really entering the closet and it looks like it, it sort of gives a 3D um, um, component to the room even though the room is just a 2D picture so that's that's a really really cool feature uh, in AGS Another thing I want to say about walk behinds, um, in walkable areas as well, you can have several of them. You can have up to 16 from 0 to 15 uh, walk behind areas. And you might think, well, why would I want more than, than one? Well, for one thing, you may want to have you know more than one. I might have had a closet over here that had a different baseline and everything like that. I may have wanted to... Um, to turn you know to have a different different walk behind area well you can do that you can have up to 16 of them also what you can do um, if you watch the intro you can turn these things on and off if you watch the walkthrough um, you remember that you can actually open this uh, this trap door and when you open the trap door you see the trap door wall the trap door actually kinda leans leans over to the side and it sort of appears over here sort of leaning over well, that becomes a new walk behind area because if you think about it, when the when the door is open and it's sort of leaning up, when Sammy walks behind the door, we want the door to be drawn on top of Sammy. So that becomes a walk behind area. So you can actually draw the area that the door will actually enter, and then you can turn that off in script. You can turn it off and turn it on. So when uh, by default it would be off, but when Sammy opens the door, we would turn that area on, and so then that would become a walk behind, walk behind area. Um, so that's you know that's one of the, one of the ways that you could use multiple walk behind areas um, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna set a set a region on this books over here and we're gonna have Sammy say something uh, whenever these books are, uh, are whenever whenever the character look the player looks at these books we're gonna have him say something about the books um, we'll actually do that in the next video uh, looks like we're running out of time on this video so we'll we'll do that in the next video um, so see you then